Good morning, folks. The solar flaring uptick continues. We've had several more M-class X-ray flares and several more eruptive events. Still, the Earth-facing position has remained quieter. We will also hit cold weather events and a deeper look at super flare ozone destruction as well. Have some observer news, too, at the end. And we are starting with our star. We see several bright active regions. No coronal holes on the disk. We are still in the coronal hole solar wind stream from the last one. Biggest eruption of the day will come at the end of the sequence. Bottom left is the new incoming sunspot group released yet another concentrated plasma eruption. We can see those flaring events as bright flashes here in 131 angstroms, mostly coming from the northern active regions and that new one on the south. Up next, we're going to take a peek at the X-ray flux chart and see the continued production of flares, mostly in the M1 to M2 range the last day. You can see the sunspot groups turning through on the north here, while on the south that newer active region is heading in as well towards central longitudes. And finally, we are going to check out the plasma activity here in 304 angstroms. Once again, the majority of the events can be seen around the limbs in terms of filament motion and CME activity. Could have one small CME coming at Earth from one of the minor flares in the north. But we'll continue to have eyes on that as we head over to Cold Weather Report and see several new stories are worth checking out, including the record cold marks in Antarctica. It is summer in the southern hemisphere, but it's not acting like summer everywhere. While Chile does deal with massive fires, we've got below average temps from Australia to Antarctica. Setting up our top story, we come back to one of the key papers of the last decade. Harvard scientists showing how major flares cause spikes in global temperatures via ozone destruction and resulting increase or surplus in ultraviolet energy. Add more on to that ozone destruction here as we dive deeper into the chemical mechanisms of the millennial level super flaring. This is not only relevant with the next super flare due in the coming solar cycle or two, but with Earth's magnetic field weakening, it'll take a lower level solar blast to have the same impact levels compared to the last several thousand years, all part and parcel of the ongoing shift. Folks, we have items running out and items on sale in our store, especially our children's books and our hats. We're going to be taking a break from our store here soon and will not be restocking items for a while as we focus on Observer Ranch and a couple other new projects. Get over there and grab yours before they're gone. And make sure you grab tickets to our events as well. A couple more of the tour stops this spring are about to sell out, so don't hesitate to get on that either. We greatly appreciate your support. Links to tickets and our store are found below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.